Hey guys, today is a super short video. I have just released a free cinematic lot that you can download and use for free to test out on your footage if it's something you like. Very soon, within the next weeks of releasing this video, I will be including more cinematic lots into my two existing lot packs already, the lot pack and the drone pack. So stay tuned for that. But I get a lot of questions all the time in terms of my lots, if you can test them out and if they will work with different kinds of footage. So I decided to just make this one for free so that you can test it out. And what better opportunity than this to show you how to best use this lot. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. In this one, we are gonna use DaVinci Resolve, but you can look in my channel for another one. If it's not up ready, it will be within the next days where I do the same thing in Premiere Pro so you can see how the workflow works there. It's a super simple lot to use. So it's just a couple of clicks, adjusting the exposure and then you're set. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. All right, guys, we are inside of DaVinci Resolve. And the only thing I've done here is that I've imported a clip. This is a lock clip. So first I'll show you how it works with lock and then I will show you on a Rec. 79 clip afterwards. So it's very simple and easy from the color tab here choose a color space transform to convert this lock footage into Rec. 709. So this was shot in Canon Cinema Gamut and Canon Lock 3. We'll convert it into Rec. 709 and Gamma 2.4. And now straight out of that, it doesn't really look that much better. Obviously it's better than this flat look, but we got the colors back. We got some of that. You can see that it's maybe a little bit overexposed, but if we go into lots, and these are the two lots that you will get inside the pack, there is a base center lot that is for lock and one that is for Rec. 709. So in this case, we're gonna use the lock one. We're gonna apply that, and straight out of that, you can see that it looks so much better already. That was one click, but it still looks a little bit overexposed. For the most part, you can just use the offset. That's what I do. It works kind of like the exposure. So I'll just drop that down ever so slightly until something I like, and I think that's around there. And with two simple clicks, double clicking lot, and then adjusting the exposure a little bit, we went from this, when it was converted from lock to Rec. 709, to this. Quite cinematic look. So that is super, super easy. Now, before we jump into the Rec. 709, I just wanna show you why you want the Rec. 709 conversion to be at the end. And if you don't know what Rec. 709 is and anything about color spaces, there will be another video on my channel very soon explaining that but let's just make a note here before and copy our color space transform and remove this and now you can see that it looks quite a lot more faded and that's because we don't have as much color to work with so I actually made this Rec. 709 one and right now with this clip it didn't really make that big of a difference but if we turn on our offset now we just have to adjust that a little bit more and now it works as well with this clip. But we do have more room to work with. We did have to pull down the offset more when we did it this way. So if we turn that off and turn this on again, you can see now it looks, turn on the log one. Now it looks way too dark. So now we have to pull up the offset again and just adjust that a little bit. So now we had around 17, 18 instead of 11 or 10. So. That's just to show you, you can press the colors a lot more if you put the Rec. 709 first. So we put it at the end and then you just apply the lot and you can adjust the exposure. If you have something with the lift or the gain, you can just pull down the gain, pull out the lift a little bit. You will just lose a little bit of contrast and now we did it on the wrong layer as well, but you will lose a little bit of contrast. You can pull that back, you can do a lot more adjustments, but if you just want a simple click lot, that's the easiest way to use it. Just apply it and then adjust the exposure a little bit. So let's jump into our Rec. 709 clip. This is shot on, I think the GoPro 10. So obviously we don't have to convert anything here. So we'll just apply the base Rec. 709 clip and it's straight off the bat, it might look a little bit too dark. So we'll just pull up the offset a little bit and look at that. I think that looks pretty good already. We could in this case, play around with the gain or perhaps even just pull down our highlights a little bit. And look at that. With three clicks, we adjusted the offset a little bit and then the highlights, and then we applied the lot. Very simple, very easy. Went from this to this. We can even pull it up in a little bit of a bigger screen. And from this to this, I think it looks a lot more cinematic. And this lot doesn't really tamper with the colors or anything. It just makes it look 
more cinematic. So whatever colors your camera captured already, they will just enhance those. There's no creative color grading involved in this. So that's where some other LUTs will be coming in my later packs. But that's it, guys. It's super easy to use. You can find the link down in the description. The only requirements I have is that you give me your first name and your email address. And I promise you, I won't be spamming you a lot with ads or anything. I'll just email you once in a while when I have some new offers and also when I have some new lots coming out. So that's the only thing you will get from me. You can always reply back to me and say, stop sending me emails. And that's completely fine as well. But that's the only thing I require to begin with. And as soon as you give me that, I'll try and get back to you as quickly as possible and send you the free lot. So check it out in the description below. And yeah, until the next time, take care and have a great day.